Oh, it feels so good to take you off the pedestal. I don't know what I was thinking. Let it be more than drinking and going back to your place. Never to see you again. That was simply delusion. Followed up with confusion. That was just substitution for a lonely bed. So that's impressive how much you're messing with my feelings. No, Sayonara is, uh, is, yes, hello, hi, um, hi, welcome back to my channel, uh, my name is Gatleo, of the Just Gatleo channel, it's been three weeks since I filmed anything, uh, and there's, there's lots to talk about, and there's lots to share, and there's a lot gonna go on, and all of that, but I wanted to open this vlog, where we will talk about all the things as we go on with the vlog but uh for the most part i am back or at least i'm trying to be back and um, i'm gonna ease myself back into recording content ease myself into it so i'm not gonna be pushing you know two or three odd videos a week i'll try to take it easy and work my way into it so hi <laughs> Thank you for sticking around. I'm back. There's a lot to talk about. There's a lot of videos that will come where all of that will be discussed and talked about, but I'll briefly talk about this a little bit later. I'm actually on my way out. It is Monday morning. It is 20 past 10, and I'm on my way out to my unit, the one that I was telling you guys about, the one that's currently empty. I have to go do some things over there and contact some people over there and sort all of that out. So I wanted to show you the unit while it's empty and we'll talk about being a landlord and talk about all of that kind of stuff, I suppose, throughout the vlog. And I'm back. I've only been back home for about three days. I was gone for about two weeks and uh i've been back for about three days and yeah still pretty much adjusting to being back at home and my hands are very hot i feel kind of nervous about filming this but i feel like a really easy soft way to ease myself back into this is to pretty much do what i typically do in my vlogs uh, yeah let's go i'm gonna make myself some lemon water now so i can take it with me in here and we're gonna go to the house to the other house and then we're gonna go get a few things that i'm short of and then we're gonna come back here and we'll talk then okay okay i'm back Uh, let me zoom you out. So I'm in my unit now. You can tell with the echo, there's literally nothing in here. So this is a unit that I own and uh, I'm just coming in through to have a look. I'll pretty much show you the empty place because a lot of the time there's a tenant in here and I never come here at all unless uh, it's between these stages where pretty much... Um, Unless it's between these stages where it's in between tenants and all of that. So this is the unit and I'm here to just check exactly what work needs to be done before the new tenant comes in in a couple of weeks, in maybe a week or two. Um, so I know painting definitely needs to be done and then holes on the walls needs to be filled. And then I need to change a couple of things and add a couple of things, but I'll pretty much show you the empty place um, 
because the only time I'm going to come back here is when there are going to be people here painting and working and all of that. So it is a two-bedroom unit on a top floor of a very, very nice complex and all of that. It is very, very nice. Trust. <laughs> Trust. Um, and yeah, so when you're standing from the door, when you're coming in through the door, those are pretty much some curtains that I came with because I want to cover up the windows in the meantime. But when you're standing at the door, this is pretty much like a lounging area. These are the steps that I came with so that I can get up there. But uh, when you're coming in from the door, this is pretty much what you see. So this is like a lounge area. Uh, the space is quite big. It's just I'm right at the corner right now. And then you see the kitchen. And the kitchen like has a gas stove and it's got um, a lot of cabinets, which is great. And there's a space for a washing machine. This is also nice because you could, in this space here, which is quite big, you can literally put like a, a round table for like a breakfast table kind of thing with like four chairs or something like that. Uh, all the cabinets do not have, um, what do I say, handles because they are pop open cabinets. So pretty much you just click and then it opens, which is great and safe, especially when you have children. Um, and then it's the basic kitchen. When you have a pantry here, like a grocery cupboard, so I'm gonna to need to have somebody come in and sort of clean and just paint, you know, all those marks on the walls and all of that. So I'm assuming this is the railing for that which is fine, we'll have somebody sort all of that out. And then it's got a gas stove, quite a lot of cabinetry in the kitchen, which is great. And then when you come this way, this is the first bedroom, which is the smallest one. It's got wooden floors, which is nice as well. Um, is there a bird in here? Okay, no, there isn't. Um, so yeah, these are the windows where I'm going to just put up some curtains so that um, neighbors and all of that don't need to see into the house. Um, so this is the first bedroom, which is the smallest one. And uh, it's great. I mean, it's got enough cabinetry space, cupboards, all of that. And then you can get a bed in there. You can pretty much fit even a queen size, but this is pretty much the smaller bedroom of the two. And then when you come this way, it's a shared bathroom. So typically, if I was living alone, I think this would be perfect. I think the first unit that I lived in when I was still staying alone, um, this was, it was very similar to this. So the bathroom has a tub and it's also got a shower. And basically what I want to do is change the shower head and the, knobs as well, the taps, the faucets, and I also want to change that tap as well, and this tap, and also change the kitchen tap as well. So I do have quite a bit to do before we can get a tenant in here. I just want more updated taps and such. And then this is the main bedroom, which is much bigger in size. Um, as you can see, the walls are dirty. There was a headboard over there, so that needs to be uh, sorted out as well, which is fine. Um, there's a wire connecting just in case you want a TV in here, but this room is much bigger and wooden floors are nice because it keeps it nice and warm in the winter time um, and enough cabinetry space as well. So that's pretty much it. That's the unit. Um, yeah. So a bit needs to be done, but that's fine. This is a unit of mine that I rent out. It's a two bedroom and on the outside, it's pretty much got a balcony and a braai area. Uh, let me see if I can show you. There we go. So it's got like a braai area out there and balcony uh, just out here. So yeah, it's pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna try and hang up these curtains. And then I'm gonna leave because I need to um, make a couple of calls to the the property managers, and also I just I just need to do a couple of things. So I'm just gonna hang these up as quick as I can, and then I'm gonna 
Trying to psych myself up. Uh, let's see. All right, is that a bit better? Hi. Uh, I'm trying to psych myself up. Okay. I'm trying to psych myself up to do this portion of the vlog because it is four o'clock odd plus, and I'm exhausted. And it is a few days later from what you've just seen. And in those days, I have been doing a lot. So I'll catch you up. Um, also, uh, I'm going to talk to you guys about a membership channel. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Let's see, will this help? I don't know. Um, so I'm also going to talk to you guys about a membership channel, but for now, <sighs> for now, let me do a haul to just welcome myself back into this here vlogging space, um, and try and make things a little bit easier. There's a haul from Discam and there's also a haul from Woolies uh, of some things that I picked up. There is a slight difference this time around to what I typically would pick up because it's colder now. It's really cold. We just came out of, I would like to say, the first winter cold snap on Saturday when I went to the book launch for Jackie Pamuta's new book, which is Mercy. Man, it was so cold that day. And I had some light stuff on, but hopefully I'm fine. I've been trying to drink some tea, drink some water, drink a whole lot of hot liquids. So right now I feel fine. So that was a few days ago. Um, so from Woolworths, I got chicken because I have not eaten all day. And the last thing I want to do is sit in front of a stove and cook vegetables. Because what's new, I always share these with you guys each and every single time I do a grocery shop at Woolies. One of my favorite salads is this one. This is the sweet curry pasta salad. Oh, I love me that. I love it. I love it. It's so, so good. Um, <clears throat> and then I also picked up, as I said, a salad. So I'm going to make that with some chicken right now because I am famished. I'm famished. I even picked one up for tomorrow because there'll be a lot of chicken left over, of course, and I'll be eating it for the next couple of days, so there won't be any cooking content in this particular vlog. Um, something I haven't had in a while and decided to pick up is this pickled fish, which is hake. This. There you go. Um, and in Salva, we love this around... We love making this in a whole lot of black homes around the Easter time. And I haven't had it in really a long time. You can eat it cold, you can eat it hot. Um, but yeah, typically people just have it with like a salad or something, rice, whatever, because it is fish at the end of the day. Um, and then in here, there's one bag which is full of spinach. And I think you guys already know that spinach is my jam. Um, so this week I'm going to be making my green smoothies with this juice, which is 100% cold pressed juice. This is the ginger, apple, ginger, and lemon juice high in vitamin C. And uh, picked this one up and I thought this is what I'm going to add to my green smoothies this week. And let me try it out and see how it tastes. So I pick up, picked up two of them. <coughs> um, <clears throat> then, always a standard in the house, these are diced tomatoes with garlic that's pretty much what they look like great i buy them all the time very very quick way to make a stew without having to cut up tomatoes you open this up and you throw it in the pot and you're good to go 
um, something that I don't have as well are baked beans. So because I was at Woolies, I picked up some baked beans. I think I picked up two of those. Yes, I did. But something I really do want to try is this Moroccan chickpea and chicken soup. You will note in this here, you will note in this here grocery she haul, um, I've got a lot of soup because it is cold. So this week will be me having soups for lunch sometimes instead of green smoothies sometimes. Uh, maybe I might even have it at work as well because I am going into work all week this week. So yeah, one of the soups that I picked up, uh, which was great when I was on my weight loss journey, this was a really great soup to have in the winter time. This is the fresh vegetable and barley soup. This is really, really good. It's a healthier alternative to all the other soups that they have. And something that isn't as quite healthy, but I really did want to taste, is the farmhouse chicken soup. So this is what they look like. And then you pretty much warm them up and then you're good to go. Um, a standard in my house again are olives, Kalamata olives, because I was out and I haven't been home for two weeks. I only got home. I got back home um, not last week, not last weekend. The weekend before that was, and I hadn't been home for about 13 days. And that's a conversation that we'll have a little bit later. And then lastly, out of the Woolies packets is Mrs. Ball's chutney. So, and mother-in-law spice. If you have not been put on by me about the spice, I don't know what your plan about your life is. This is the mother-in-law spice. Girl, girl, to your meat and your stews. Girl, maybe even a little bit to your curries. Girl, get it. Get it. I don't like to explain myself, so I'm not going to explain myself, okay? There's that on that on that. Okay, so I'm going to pack the stuff away, and then we're going to do, I'm going to move locations, and then we're going to do maybe a bit of a disc cam haul, and then we're going to do a bit of a catch-up, and then after that, I'm going to make some food, and then probably round out this vlog, because there's not really much else to say. So let me put the stuff away, and uh, let's get on with the day. Different corner of the house, got my cup of coffee because we're in the throngs of winter, okay? It's very, very cold and um, wow, wow, okay. Uh, there's a lot going on, guys. There's so much that I need to explain. Not explain, there's so much that I want to share with you and so much that has been going on that I feel like sharing with you and a lot that's going to be happening in this house as well that I want to share with you. Um, and we'll talk about all of that, but you'll see those things in the next vlogs to come. So before I give you a little bit of an update as to where I've been lately, uh, the membership channel and pretty much what has been going on with me, um, I'm going to show you what I picked up from this camp. Now, like I said, I've been gone for the house from the house for a while so there were things that i was obviously running out of and then there were things that i was completely out of like a fruit produce all that kind of stuff uh, totally totally out of that stuff and just things that i needed to top up on for that's my partner for um the house so one of my favorite stay softs now stay soft you get it laundry fabric conditioner it's not stay soft because stay soft is a brand what's this thing as black people colgate when we're talking about toothpaste or cold drink when we're to or coke 
when we are talking about cold drink. Eh, eh. Or really, stay soft when we are talking about fabric soft. Don't do that. Don't do that. I do this a lot. And uh, I mean fabric softener. I've changed my fabric softener. I now use Comfort. And one of my favorite uh, scents is this one, which is Pure. This is the baby one. So I picked up two of these. But the one that I have now is also great because it's like a perfume. It makes my clothes smell so good. I think it's the Perfume Deluxe or something. I'll show you as soon as I get up from here. But I picked up two of these um, along with Hello. Hello. I'm the Queen of Nivea. Okay. I'm the queen of Nivea. If you've been on this channel long enough, you will know this. Um, so I picked up just extras of the um, Caring Shower Cream. I really love to use a cream in the winter because my skin, wow. When I tell you about my back skin and how when I do this, I feel... Winter is tragic for me and it's so hard because I live alone and a lot of the time I just really want someone to oil my back and moisturize my back, lather my back each and every single day, but I can't do that, can I? <laughs> so anyway, um, so I picked up the cream. I really love to use the cream right throughout the year, but more so in uh, winter time and my favorite scent from this range is the coconut and jojoba oil. And uh, the lotion that I've really been enjoying, it's I'm actually running out of that upstairs, is the coconut and monoi oil. Now, this one is new, and wow, gents, wow, gents, really good, really, really good. There was a value pack special on the um, Gynagard that I used. This is Feminine Intimate Wash. I know some of you guys do not use intimate washes, and that's okay, too. Okay, um, need I say more? No, I don't. I don't need to say more. <clears throat> um, I'm a big fan of the Sunlight Antibacterial. Oh, I took the wrong one. This is Nature. Typically, I take the blue one. Recently, I've taken the blue one as opposed to the green one, the original one. Um, I like the antibacterial one, but I picked up the wrong one. So this one is Nature gentle on the hands so we'll try it we like the color I actually really like that color so we'll try it and see how that one goes um the girl the girl okay we're not going to we're not we're not if you've been on this channel for a while we're not we're just not going to get into it and for the guest bathroom downstairs um i've switched out my hand washes from normal like nivea hand washes or whatever whatever to antibacterial hand washes and I picked up the dental one because I've got some for upstairs for my bathroom and the guest bathroom upstairs but I needed something down here so this and the hand cream that I picked I decided to be a little bit okay with you know doesn't have to be antibacterial or anything like that this is the nourishing dry skin hand cream from B good <laughs> No, not be good. Be natural from good stuff. Really, really. It's This one smells nice. This one's really, really good. So for my guests, when they come, the guest bathroom, which is used quite often from guests. Um, need I say more? No, I don't. I really don't need to say more. <coughs> um, <clears throat> then I picked up. I picked up uh, extras of the lashes that I always pick up. These are the 141s from Eyler. And I've got, wow, I've got a piece of, I've got lots of these, lots of these, because I use them quite a lot. Uh, my favorite Colgate. I know a lot of you guys have tried out the Sensitive Pro Relief. And hello, how about Catch Me Outside? Like this coffee, really good, okay? And, um, again, I'm a creature of habit. You guys have seen these. If you've been following me from on my channel for a while, you've seen these. I do not even need to mention them to you because I know you know. You know what the business is, okay? Um, and then I took for myself, for my handbag, um, uh, refreshingly soft moisturizing cream from Nivea. I really like this one. I also have this one downstairs in the kitchen. That's what I use after I wash dishes or after I do whatever and get my hands wet. 
I hate dry hands. I hate the feeling of my hands being dry when I do this. Oof. Hate it. Um, also, I had to pick up another of the... My SPF. My facial SPF. This is from... Eucerin. I pick it up all the time. What's new? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay? The only new different thing that I picked up this time around is an electric toothbrush. Now, I use electric toothbrushes. I use the electric toothbrush at night when I'm trying to get out as much as I can from eating and all of that during the day. And then in the morning, I use just a normal toothbrush uh, to try and not because an electric toothbrush goes all the way in there. It cleans, okay? But when I wake up in the morning, my mouth is pretty much already clean because I've been sleeping all night. So all I need to just do is get out that morning breath and clean my teeth and whatever. So for that, I use a normal toothbrush, just a simple toothbrush. That's not electric, just a manual toothbrush. Um, but at night, I always, always use an electric toothbrush. The one that I have, I've had, the one I have upstairs, I've had for close to, no joke, no joke, maybe seven, eight years. I just change, with electric toothbrushes, you just change this top part here, this part here. This is what you just change. And I change this part about every two to three months. But the device itself, I've had for pretty much, at the very least, seven years. So it's time for a new one and this time around I picked up this one this is the uh, Sensi Ultra Thin um, Brawn toothbrush, electric toothbrush <laughs> I don't know <laughs> basically yeah waterproof handle great for daily clean twice a day really great and you just charge it I pretty much put it into the charger every single night uh, because that uh, adapter is in my bedroom. So I put it in there every single night after I've brushed my teeth. And I'm a happy chappy the following morning. So that's that. And then lastly were extra pickups except this one. Uh, these are just generally things that I use. I have switched. I've spoken about this in a vlog of mine where I was doing my makeup. That I do not use MAC brow pencil in spiked anymore I found something exactly like it and works just as well and it's just as slim the pencil itself is just as slim and this is the brow ultra slim <laughs> eyebrow pencil from Maybelline and this is in brown I think it's a, a black brown yeah I was supposed to take no this is the one that I use yeah it is the one that I use uh, what I picked up again which was a recommendation from Pemelo, um, and I love it, and I've got lots of them because it's like 20 bucks or 25 bucks. This is the Juicy Bomb Shiny Lip Gloss from Essence. It's fantastic. As an everyday lip gloss, it's fantastic. Do not look at my lips right now because they're probably dry, okay? Um, and then a uh, under eye concealer that I absolutely love is this one. This is the Superstay under eye concealer from Maybelline. We absolutely love her. Thanks, Maybelline. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. No, she's born with it. Okay? She's born with the juice. Okay? The only thing that is new to me that I do not know why I picked it up. I think I just liked how it looked. No, that's not the reason. We all like some full and plump lips, chair, okay? So this is the Catrice Cleaning ID Hydra Lip Plumper, and it's vegan. So I picked this one up as well. Hi, hi, Catrice. Hey, hey, sweetie. Um, and it's a lip plumper, so we're going to try this one out and give it a go. But pretty much, you guys know I don't buy makeup much anymore because that's just, it's not my steez, you know? It's not what I do anymore i focus a lot of my attention on things that really need my money and makeup can chow your money okay um so yeah there's a lot of updates i'm gonna move and sit somewhere else just 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 to shake things up just spice things up a little bit i'm gonna move sit somewhere else i'm gonna pack these things away first reheat my coffee because it's really at this point look warm look warm but so delicious reheat my coffee then give you updates lots of updates 
lots of updates let me just tidy up this and then i'll be back like no days off so you can go Okay, so we're in my little bookish corner of the house and lots to talk about. Uh, this is where I'm going to pretty much give my final update. Uh, but before I do that, I'm in my bookish corner because I'm going to show you some books. Um, so this guy keeps every time. Let me drink my coffee. I reheated it. So at this point, it's no longer lukewarm. It's blistering hot. Could you tell? Could, could you, could you, could you see it? Maybe? Okay. Oh, but it's excellent. Haven't eaten, it's going on five. <laughs> Haven't eaten all day and there's meds that I'm on. Whatever, okay, whatever. Um, so lots is gonna happen to this house, but also at the same time, lots is gonna happen to the other house. Um, I'll talk about those a little bit later. Let's get into the books, shall we? Okay. Uh, two books that I read while I was away and really, really enjoyed are these. Um, this I really, really, really enjoyed. This I thought was a little bit. It was okay. <coughs> um, I think I rated it a three out of five on Goodreads. If you do not follow me on Goodreads, I am on Goodreads. I've got a podcast. I am on Instagram. I'm on Twitter and I'm here. So literally I'm pretty much everywhere. Okay. But, uh, when I, uh, finish a book on Goodreads, I review it. Sometimes I'll write a full length, uh, review. Sometimes I won't dependent on how I feel about the book. Um, this one is Wahala and I started it in my previous vlog. And I think you, you know, this I've showed this, uh, but this basically follows four friends, uh, see me, Ronke, uh, Boo, and a newbie to the group is Isabel. So it's, it's listed as a thriller, but I really don't think, I think it's, I don't even think it's a thriller. I feel like it's an adult contemporary. Yes, something happens that's slightly thrilling in the book, but I, would I call it a thriller as somebody who reads thrillers regularly? No, I wouldn't call it a thriller. It's nice. It follows the dynamic between the three friends. And then when the fourth one enters, this fourth one is brought uh, in by one of the friends. Simi brings Isabel in and Isabel pretty much turns their lives upside down in a nutshell. Uh, she talks about the one to the other and she does this, 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 and all of that. Uh, these are Nigerian by um, not bilingual, mixed, mixed, uh, women. So one of the parents is black and one of the parents is white and all of them are mixed and all of them are Nigerian. So the, it's a really nice, but it's set in England. It's set in London. The story is set in London. It's a great way of uh, learning more about Nigerian culture and food. I learned that a lot in here. Um, there's a restaurant that they loved going to that had Nigerian food, um, Nigerian culture, just how people behave at certain events and, uh, all that kind of stuff. Really learned great stuff. Um, it does tackle racism slightly, ever so slightly, because of course, where there's mixed race, racism is m most likely to rear its little head. Um, also it talks about just dynamics of, you know, the wealthy and the not wealthy and the fortunate and less fortunate. And it talks about kids and marriage, um, and how it is, you know, being a wife and uh, being a mother and being a career driven woman, all that kind of stuff. Really, really, um, look, I, I, I liked it. Uh, I don't, wouldn't go as far as saying I loved it, but I liked it. I feel like I, I got through it pretty quickly. I think I, I read it in like three days or something like that. It was, it was good. I rated it a three out of five. What, what should be a six out of five is this. Where Nina, 
I want to write a full length review of this, but I've been thinking about it. I finished it sometime last week. I have not decided what I'm going to read next. I think I'm on my 13th book for the year or something like that. And my goal is 35. I'm not happy with uh, where I'm at, or is it 14th book for the year? And my goal is 35, and I'm not quite happy. Uh, but this is Ocean Vong's On Earth We Were Briefly Gorgeous. Now, we were briefly gorgeous. Now, Ocean Vong is a poet who is based in New York, if I'm not mistaken. And this is listed as a nonfiction and a fiction. So he adds a little bit of what happened in his life as well to the narrative in this book. Uh, but some of the things he makes up as well. So I don't know. Either way, the prose of how this book is written is unlike anything I've ever read before. This is an excellently written book, and it just is a collection of letters that a son writes to his mother who cannot read. So you can imagine all these collections of letters of how the son grew up. This is a gay son, how he grew up, what happened growing up. There's really, really difficult uh, topics here that talk about, you know, post-traumatic uh, post -traumatic stress disorder, um, also uh, PTSD. Here we go. PTSD, abuse, um, just, just um, racism. It's got really, really difficult topics that are discussed in here, but it is written like it's poetry. That's all I'm saying. It's written like it's poetry. It's so lyrical. It flows. A lot of people tend to not like it because they say that he's kind of overdoing it when it comes to the lyrical flowingness of the book, but he's a poet. To me, it just doesn't not make sense, you know? But this, excellent. If I... I've got quite a few five stars in the 13 odd 14 books that I've read this year, but this is right up there. This is right up there. This will be in my top 10 of the year. This will definitely be in my top 10 of the year. I said it and I said what I said. Okay? I did. I said what I said. Then I picked up new books. Um, one is Mercy because I was at the Jackie Pamuze event and uh, book launch and um, she was launching her fourth installation from the Bear series, The Blesser's Guide. That's the one that I read. Uh, the Hockey Club I read. I have not read Ego and I haven't read Mercy. And Mercy I just picked up two days ago, so that's fine. So I'm thinking of picking up Ego before I read Mercy. So I picked that up at the book launch. And then today I went a little bit ham because I was rewarding myself for all the work that I've been doing and I'll explain that later. I was rewarding myself so I picked up some more books from Bargain Books. Do I have a problem? Yes. Am I looking to solve it or fix it? No. When it comes to buying books? No, I'm not. So it's fine. These are my books. Am I going to sell them? Am I going to sell my books? No, I'm growing my collection of books. Yes, I have a lot of books, but I'm not, I'm growing my books. That, that's it. Um, I'm actually sitting in a portion of the house that this typically was on the other wall. So what I did is I moved this, which was on that wall, and I brought it here, and I moved the couch because a lot of sun streams into this room, and I love to use this room to read. So where the couch is now is where I can actually, the sun streams in the most. So I can sit there and actually read in there in the winter time. So Tandy and I actually moved the whole room around, which... Uh, looks so much better now. I absolutely love it. And the sun doesn't directly hit my books because the sun does damage books. So I'm quite happy with how they are sitting now. Um, next, I'm not going to get into the synopsis of because I will be doing that for my membership channel. So next, we are talking Luster by Raven Leilani. Now, this is something... <coughs> this is a book that was recommended by Jack Edwards. If you are somebody who reads... I really highly recommend that you follow Jack Edwards on YouTube. Really good. His book selections are phenomenal. And he loved Luster. And because of that, I was like, I'm picking it up. It's a story about a black woman who is invited into the marriage of a couple. And 
stuff ensues, like invited into the home. She lives with them. And she's actually the mistress of the husband. So, very exciting. Very exciting. Uh, this one, again, a recommendation from somebody I watch, Hannah the Clockwork Reader. And she recommended The Stationery Shop of Tehran by uh, Marjan Kamali. And that's all I'm saying on this. I do know the synopsis, but I'm not, uh, you know. And then another recommendation for only 69 bucks uh, from Jack Edwards is If I Had Your Face by Francis Cha. So this is about basically beauty standards in uh, Asian countries, more specifically Korea, and um, what this woman is going through. Um, you know, contemporary soul where plastic surgery is as routine as getting a haircut. Um, so it talks about just basically beauty standards in Korea. And I'm really, really excited to read that. That cover is excellent. The only pity is this, which I will remove, but that cover, and it's a book jacket, which is great because when I'm reading, I can mark it where I am. So I haven't decided which book I'm going to read now. Um, I do possibly maybe think Luster is one that I'm going to read. Um, but aside from that, I'm going to bring this vlog to an end because I really don't know how long it's going to be. Um, over the next couple of vlogs, this is what you're going to see. Before I get into that, we have a membership channel. So uh, I'm going to do a full sit down video for the membership channel, talking about the membership channel. But the Just Katleo family is going to get a membership channel. And the reason why I did this is because I spend a lot of time, energy, money on YouTube. And unfortunately, the sad reality is YouTube doesn't pay as much as you think it does. It doesn't. I've got a salary every month from YouTube, yes, but it's different each and every single month because of things like ads and recommendations and all of that, CPMs, all of that. So I thought that the only way that this channel can continue, the way that it's draining me, Okay, like it's taking up a lot of my time. Okay, and I think you all know that because I release two, if not three videos a week. So, and I work and I have a podcast. Okay, like it's, it's a lot. Okay, so the only way that I felt like I could continue this channel is if I have a membership space where people can join and pay a monthly fee to see certain things. Now, the big question is what will be on there that we're not going to see on here, on the main channel, right? What will be on there, there'll be one tier basically, so it's one amount, it's not three different amounts or three tiers or, you know, one membership for 40 bucks, one membership for 60, 90. Now, I still need to be able to have time to do whatever I want to do as well. So um, the membership channel will look at my mental journey, my mental health journey, which is something that I'm currently going through now. I'll get to why I say that now. And it'll also look at books, designated book videos. Also, we'll look at exclusive vlog content that I typically wouldn't want to share on here. So it might be on the main channel. So it might be a shorter vlog because normally my weekly vlogs are about anywhere between 30 and 40 minutes long. But if it's on the membership channel, I might do exclusive bonus vlogs where if I'm out and about with my sister, like tomorrow I'm going to be going out with my sister and I know that I'm going to vlog that and um, all, of, all of the business. So there will be exclusive content on there um, and there's just certain things that I'm going to be sharing about my mental health journey that I do not want to share on here and on the main channel. And if you want to be able to have access to that, you'll have to be a member to see it. Um, so that's what's going to be happening with the membership channel. You will see it with the membership channel, with the membership um, you will see it when you see it. It'll pop up. You'll get the video. You'll see community feeds, tabs, whatever. Do follow me on Instagram as well because this is where I also share a lot of what is going on with me in my personal life, in my life life, whatever. Um, but moving on from that, uh, updates. So basically, I wasn't home for about 13 days. I was not in my house. I was in a private mental health facility. I needed to go away. I needed to see 
psychiatrists and therapists and whatever on a daily basis and I have and I'm going to talk about that on my membership channel I'm not going to discuss any which thing so if you are somebody who loves my 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 uh, mental health content there will be a lot more of it uh, in terms of what's been happening why I went away this that and the other uh, what medication I'm on what I've been diagnosed with blah 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 so I have been diagnosed with clinical depression and from my psychiatrist and it's been a lot so when I came out of the facility uh, I did a lot of changes to my life a lot of changes some of which I'll discuss in the membership you see so make sure eh because I made some major changes um, also you know bonus blog content and all of that um, currently renovating the not renovating fully but changing up a couple of things in my rental unit so that's what's been keeping me busy last week i've been getting a plumber in i've been getting a painter in all of that has been happening and it's going to be happening this week so i'll try to vlog that content as well um also there will be changes made here in this house i am thinking of uh, getting accent colors in the house in my bedroom on my wall um, possibly also by the TV here I'm thinking of getting very like richer darker colors but I'm still thinking about that not only that I'm going to be uh, changing up my bedroom quite a bit as well so there's there's a lot of content coming um, what else yo man there's just a lot okay my podcast will be up and running as well from next week. So when you see this vlog, which will be this week sometime later on this week, I'll start editing it tomorrow. When you see this vlog, my podcast episode will come out the week after. So, and that's how we'll go. Um, so that's pretty much it. That's all I want to share in terms of the mental health side. Um, anxiety and depression. That's, you know, I had tests done, assessments done on me, whatever. I was seeing doctors and therapists every day. It's a lot. It's a lot, but I'm going to talk in uh, thorough detail with that later um, in the membership space. And then uh, relationship-wise, everything is going great. I've been at his place for the last five days, I would like to believe. <clears throat> and uh, that's going great. I feel like that's a big part of my life that the light shone, you know, my friends shone through for me, my sister, my lady shone through for me, um, and my partner did in the last couple of weeks. And uh, it's been uh, amazing. They've really gotten me through some tough times. And what else? I'm going back to work. I've been back at work for about a week now. So I'm going to work. Um, so yeah, to try and push all this content and it's going to be a lot for me, but do I love it? Yes, but I feel like it's only fair that if I'm going to be giving you such exclusive access to things that I typically wouldn't want to share on here and for you to help me out um, a little bit in terms of getting a bit of a better um, salary, if you will, from YouTube monthly, memberships are really, really important and yeah because we're growing slowly but steadily um i'm gonna need to just amp things up a notch that's pretty much it uh there's not much else that i want to add or say i feel like that's pretty much it there's a lot that i'm thinking of purchasing a new camera there's a lot that i'm thinking of doing um there's a lot that i've done but a lot of it will be in the membership space so you know what to do you know what to do so yeah i'm gonna go and um thank you guys thank you guys for giving me the patience and the time to go work on myself it's been a really hard journey it really is hard i'm trying to get back my voice is wilding out i've been talking i'm trying to get back to being okay for myself and for my family and my friends and the people that are around me and um uh, slowly but surely we're getting there so uh welcome to the channel if it's, this is the first video that you're seeing by me please do subscribe if you haven't already and if you have subscribed thank you very much also do watch the ads and more importantly 
do follow me on Instagram because a lot of the time that's where we get most of our work, campaign work. So I'm going to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for allowing me to come back into your homes, into your spaces. I really do appreciate you guys. And I hope that you guys are doing well yourselves. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. It might be a membership channel video. It might be another sit down video. Who knows? Talk to you in the next video.